so let's look at the first problem uh, from the number system so here we have uh, they're asking us 26 multiplied by 3 and half is equivalent to which of this a b c or d so one of the most important thing which uh, i would like to remember you can even write it down so in gre you can see how they show the number so here for specific term they're showing three and half so that means it's not equal to three by two which makes it 1.5 but three one half is equal to 3.5 so this is the most important concept you have to remember if there is no sign they are trying to show it's 3.5 and this is how they show the numbers in GRE whereas if you can see here it's there are showing 6 multiply by half so that makes it 6 divided by 2 it's 3 so this is how the different way of showing numbers in GRE problem so once you understand this this will be you will become much more easier for you to solve the questions so now let's just uh, go back to actual solution what we need so most important thing this is the kind of time consuming but we can even solve it easily so you will start with taking what exactly uh, output you need so here we have different answers for the question so that makes even easier to understand what we are going to solve so our question was 26 multiply by 3 half which makes it 26 multiply by 3.5 so the easiest way to solve such type of problems is you have to separate it so you can say 20 multiply by 3 plus 6 multiply by 3 plus 26 multiply by 0.5 so see what exactly i did here what i did first i know it's difficult to directly solve 26 multiply by 3.5 and even if it's easiest that's what not the answers were calling for answers actually were calling for the divided part like we have to divide this calculation in the sub parts so what i did multiplying instead of multiplying 26 the easiest way of multi 26 easiest way is always multiplying with 20 so what i did 20 multiplied by 3 so i'm done with this part i still have 6 here out of 26 so what i did plus whatever this calculation is plus the 6 from here should multiply by 3 which is again this 3 so 6 multiply by 3 plus i will see i have 0.5 here which was i never used it in the multiplication so i used 26 the whole number multiply by 0.5 now once i will have that i will glance again my answers and here i can see 20 multiply by 3 and 6 multiply by 3 oh so this this might be a potential answer then what is this what is the other part remaining i can even put this in the bracket 26 multiply by half and here we have 26 multiply by 0.5 so 0.5 means half so 26 multiply by half so this is equal so this is this so answer is d this is the easiest way to solve the answer how could i find the answer quickly is mainly first approach should be we should look at the answers 
and then we should form our equation that will be easiest uh, how i figure out i have to perform this division i can even perform this again if you understand till now you can move forward with the next term if you don't understand it i can even elaborate more here so let's do it again so i was saying 25 multiply by 3 half so as per the rule which i explained earlier so 26 multiply by this becomes 3.5 okay so now i know i have to multiply 26 into 3.5 which is kind of difficult and at the same time that's what not what i need so what what is the easiest way i will i will perform i will separate this 26 into 20 plus 6 you understand this multiply by i will perform this into 3 plus point 0.5 okay so 20 multiply by 3 plus 20 multiply by point 0.5 plus 6 multiply by 3 this thing i'm talking about first i perform 20 multiply by 3 and then 20 multiply by 0. 0.5 and now i'm doing 6 multiply by 3 plus 6 multiply by 0. 0.5 now i know this is the part of answer which i i can recognize here and this is again the part of answer which i can recognize here now the remaining parts are this and this as i know out of this i can take 0.5 common if i take 0.5 common from this two brackets so now let's consider this and this so 20 into 0.5 and there is a plus sign in between and 6 into 0.5 now consider we'll take 0.5 common from both so it becomes 0.5 into 20 plus 6 so we know 20 plus 6 is 0.5 and 26 and that gives us 26 multiply by half which was our answer here I think now this is easiest to understand so i hope now you understand what i mean by making parts of this one so it can match to the answer okay so that is the easiest way of solving the question we should have completely solved this but that then we end up will we will end up solving all these values and comparing these values with the the value in question that is really time consuming so easiest way is to see have a glance at the answer and then try to match it to the question so that is will be the easiest question